In this presentation, we're going to look at entropy. Now, we've actually looked at a few videos before. This is, in particular, what we're going to look at in this case is conditional entropy and also mutual information. Now, I've used this example in previous uh, presentations, so these are just some results I've got from previous presentations. So we have a noisy communication channel, which is a random variable X with four symbols A, B, C, and D. So there we have X there. And we have the output Y over the same four symbols there. So the marginal entropies for X and Y are as follows, two bits and 1.75 bits. And in another video, we've seen that the joint entropy of X and Y is 3.375 bits. Okay, so those are all the important pieces of information that we're going to need for the rest of this presentation. So moving on so the question is what is the conditional entropy of uh, y given x x given y and the mutual information of x and y so those are the three calculations that we are going to carry out so let's look at that there so let's look at the first two the first two are very similar to one another so uh, the those are our important uh, pieces of information that we've uh, I've stated them uh, at the start of the presentation, but just for the sake of clarity, h of x equals 2 bits, h of y equals 1.75 bits. Now, the relationship between the conditional joint and marginal entropy is as follows. So we have the joint entropy and we have the marginal entropy. This is what we're looking for here, the conditional entropy. Now we have a an equation or an expression that the joint entropy h of x and y is the conditional entropy plus the marginal entropy. Now equivalently this works for uh, you can uh, swap x and y around and you can get the the same expression here. It's a direct equivalent to the other. Now what we're going to do is rearrange these expressions here. So we're looking for the conditional entropy and the uh, uh, h of x given y and h of y given x. Simply uh, rearranging those two equations above, all we have to do is subtract the marginal entropy from the joint entropy. So it's actually that's straightforward enough. So let's look at that now. Uh, where do I have it done? In a sec. Here we go. So uh, the in the first case we have 3.375 uh, h of y that it was 1.75 so we end up with uh, 1.625 and in the second case uh, 3.375 minus 2 and that gives us 1.375 and just remember to put in the unit there bit okay so those are our calculations straightforward enough really and let's see now there it is a tidied up version of that calculation there so again 1.625 and 1.375 so those are the first two uh, parts of our calculation of our exercise uh, those are our first two exercises taken care of so the next thing we're going to do is find out the mutual information and there we have it there. So the mutual information is, there's actually quite a few formulas for this, but I find this one easiest to remember. Uh, so we'll, we'll use this one. There's actually quite, a, there's about f uh, three or four equivalent, equivalent formulae for computing mutual information. This one is the one I'm going to use because as I said before, it's the easiest to remember. So uh, the mutual information is that the two marginal entropies minus the joint entropy. So let's calculate that. That's equal to 2 plus 1.75 minus 3.375. I make that to be 0 0.375 bits. Okay. So again, a tidied up version of my calculation there. There we have it there. So it's 2. Sorry, that should be 2 there. Not so tidied up. Now, so that's a 2 plus 1.75 minus 3.375, and that gives us our answer there, uh, 0.375. And that ends our presentation.